face. <laughs> and then I expect to see your faces because I don't know you. So oh, it's not from that's that shop. Right. Don't, don't it's worry. okay. It's not from the shop. Oh dear. That didn't sound too promising. And now it's a case of truthfully whether to give her an honest, honest reaction when she comes downstairs or be a good mum and try and make the best of what I'm going to see. I don't know. It's the day before the wedding and Fern's waiting for the dress she's been told will be delivered to her mum's house. Do you think it's coming from that dress shop? The anxious bride has convinced herself that Ryan must have bought her dress from her favourite local boutique. She's got two or three dresses in her head that she tried on and she's thinking that he's bound to pick one of them, I think. But that may not be the case. The dress is already two hours late and it's starting to dawn on Fern that her man might just have bought it elsewhere. I've got a sick feeling in my stomach. If the dress is a disaster and I really hated it, no, I don't think I'd wear it. The one thing that I do want is for me to walk out this house tomorrow morning feeling confident in the way I look. All eyes are going to be on me. I don't know, it could be a disaster. The wait is finally over. I don't recognise your two faces. Shop. Oh dear. That didn't sound too promising. And now it's a case of truthfully whether to give her an honest, honest reaction when she comes downstairs or be a good mum and try and make the best of what I'm going to see. I don't know. I don't know what's the best thing to do, really. That I really didn't. I thought it had gotten something slim fitted. Ugh. I might look really sad, but I'm actually so just relieved. I just want to try it on. Spin for me, spin. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. Stunning. You were crying, oh, yeah. hysterically. Yeah. Because I couldn't see the bag. I thought I was going to see a sign on the woman. Oh, for God's sake. Oh. Oh. That's beautiful. What were the that hysteria? I could hear you. I thought, oh, oh my God. God. You've got something you didn't like. I'm shocked that he's picked it. Why? Because I just didn't think he would. Yeah. I didn't think he'd go for this. I thought it'd either be mega over the top with loads going on and all big, nice. or simple. Do you love it then? Absolutely yeah. love it. Stunning. Perfect. I love it. I love Fantastic. the bit of Swarovski going on, and yeah. I did not have this dress in my head, honestly. And that's why I was so relieved. <laughs> I didn't think that sounded like relief. She didn't like it. That's fantastic. I can't believe it's picked out. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Well done, Ryan. Tomorrow, the boys have a Hollywood extravaganza to pull off. But for Matt, it's the future of Team Gorgeous that's at stake. And that day, he loves Fern to bits. And I love him to bits, he loves me to bits, Fern likes me, and goes as far as loves me, but I don't think Fern would ever stop him seeing me, no, no way, and he'll always want to see me, but this is his time, isn't it? I've got to let him go. Night man. Night groom. Get off of my toes.
It's the morning of the wedding. And the bride is still in the dark about Ryan's plans for her hair. Shelley has had enough of waiting. Hello. Just one thing. Is, is Finn getting a hairdresser this morning? No. No? We're not organised one. Uh, all right. See you in a bit. Bye. No point kicking off. I'm not kicking off at him. Uh, it's done. We need to crack on. Whatever. Just hope it goes all right. I hope it's not a disaster or anything. It'll do, it's fine. I think I've made a pretty good job, actually. It'll do. It's not like what I had done at the hairdressers, obviously, but, yeah, well done, Mum. It's OK. It'll do. It's the day before the wedding. While Andy finishes off some last-minute details, Hannah is about to see her wedding dress for the very first time. What are you laughing at? Because I don't like any that I can see. <laughs> You've not even looked at them. I can see. I don't like any. Oh my god! Nothing catches my eye at all. Like weirds can't describe you. Hannah dreamed of a confection in candy floss, but Andy wanted his princess in white. Oh my god! Oh, I love that. <laughs> can I open my eyes? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh my god. I like it. It's very sparkly, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The one in my head was pink, wasn't it? Yeah. So, I think I need to try it on first. I'll wait here for you. If she had to choose a dress, it'd be pink, definitely, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, white's traditional, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Have I got a veil or a tiara? Uh, or... Not here. <laughs> but he has left you with some shoes. Wow, how looks so pretty. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, I like it. Do you like yeah. it? Yeah. Sexy. <laughs> Do you prefer that one than the pink one? Oh. Don't know. <laughs> Not half and sure. half. Because <laughs> there's a different cut on the top, isn't it? And yeah, it's straight. I didn't want a straight one. I wanted one like a heart one. See, so you could see a bit of boobage, but you can't on this. Hannah, it's nice. It's gorgeous. So do you like it or not? It may not be pink, but... I like it. <laughs> Hooray! Oh. Now it's time for Andy's buy of the wedding. Oh, I've got two! Yeah, he's two. What are you laughing at? They are dead, Deirdre. Wear them. Right, I'm not wearing them. <laughs> one pair down, one to go. Why is he wasting money on crappy shoes? I don't think it's easy. Let's have a look. I'm not wearing these shoes. <laughs> they're fucking hideous. I think they're nice. Are you lying? I'm not lying. Don't lie. <laughs> Two pairs of mean shoes, what a waste of money. Arse. I think these are sexy. <laughs> <laughs> they're are <laughs> sexy. Please buy them up. They look like you know when your nan tries to wear heels. <laughs> they cost 55 pounds. 55 quid for them? You're fucking joking me. Take your bloody bath. <laughs> oh well, now I'm in a bad mood now. I don't care about the dress. Now I've got me in shoes. Unable to get Hannah to try the shoes on, bridesmaid Kira puts in an emergency call to Andy. Hello? Hi, Andy, it's Kira. I've dare put shoes that ugly in front of my face. Hannah is really, really fuming with them shoes, and she hates them. The shoes? Got a stain on. Yeah. Which the, ones? There's two pairs. Both of them, Andy. She said they're awful. Like bridezilla, you are. She's going mental. She loves the dress. But as soon as those shoes came out, she was like, I don't really care anymore. I want new ones today. She said she wants new ones I'm today. I'm a and a veil today. Look how pretty you look. And you just big like a little spoiled bra. Kira. Tell her to stop stressing. Yeah. yeah. To trust me. Yeah. And I'll sort it. All right. And tell her 
I thought them shoes were quite nice, but <laughs> she's a princess, she'll get what she wants. Okay then. Bye. <laughs> shoes! Always about the bloody shoes. He likes them shoes. <laughs> yeah, but the woman says I need shoes now to, tr to sort the dress out, so I need my shoes now. Well, ring him back and tell him I need the shoes now. <laughs> tell him Hannah's screaming, I want my shoes now. Hannah's refusing to put them shoes on, so the woman's... Right, she tell her, to, hang on a minute, Kira. Tell her that she's going to have three-inch heels and to stop being ridiculous. What's he saying, Kira? Put them shoes on for the height. No, stop being no, ridiculous. No, That's three shoes inch now. heels. No, she I'm not wearing them. Well then, the, I can't wear the dress then, can I? Unless I get shoes now. Well, tell her I'm not a freaking magician. He's not a fucking magician. He's got to run round. Well, what an idiot! Why buy hideous shoes? Tell her to stop quid? stressing. You're not even going to be able to see the shoes, but I'll get yeah, her a I new know. pair. Tell her to stop stressing and look forward to the frigging wedding. All right, tell her. I'm not impressed with this at all. Tell her it is our wedding day tomorrow and she's flapping over a 20 quid pair of shoes. He's sorting them out now. He said you just need to try on three inches and then he's going to go and, and get, get another pair ones. of shoes. So I'm not you, putting them on my feet. You don't have to. Well, you have to put, no, if they're three inches. Them on my feet. <laughs> it's a pair of stupid shoes. No one's going to see under a dress. They might just be stupid shoes to Andy, but on the eve of their wedding, will his bride ever put herself in his? It's the day before the wedding. The bride who didn't want white is about to see the diamond white dress that Colin wants her to wear. Oh, I'm really scared. <laughs> this, is, this is the most important, important thing right now, this. I don't even care about tomorrow. This is more important than anything. Unfortunately for Sally, there's no going back now. It's like being at the dentist. <laughs> I think that's why we're whispering. Really nervous. Really nervous. I, I couldn't pick some... It's so personal. Like, And Sally's my daughter and I don't think I get it right. I've not heard any screams. This dress, I mean, this is just not a dress that I would think Colin would pick ever. Oh my god. It's beautiful on you. No, I love it. I really like it's it. It's really different, isn't it? Wow, mm. gorgeous, isn't it? Oh no, Big C's <laughs> done well. <laughs> I'm happy for you. <laughs> Big C's got the dress spot on, but over at Cranage Hall, will tomorrow bring the sweet smell of success? You know what I'm not gonna put them there though? I'm gonna put a sign. Sweaty pee. <laughs> With the decorations licked, it's time to make their budget wedding cake. Add half a pint of water mix on the... Uh, on Add it all in. Basically put it all in. Let's bang it in some. It's a foolproof recipe. Just pour, mix... Be able to put that in the oven mate? Yep, no worries. And give it to the head chef to cook. 20 minutes. That's my big cake. Don't burn it. <laughs> it's midnight and their cake has risen. No, you got it. Now they just have to decorate it. Okay. 
That's not bad, that. That is not bad. Right. I bet Willy Wonka didn't get his hands dirty. No, this is a bad idea, this. Jump there. I'm going to this is my wedding cake, this. This is a disaster. Place a cake in the middle of a cake board, putting cut side onto the board. Oh, Colin, what are we doing? Don't worry, mate, we'll pull it off, trust me. Cover the outside of the cake with a thin layer of frosting. Yeah, mate, that's what you do. Oh, my God. Oh, you're breaking it at the top, man, not heavy, man. No, it's not sank minging, though, because we got jam and everything. We should have bought a cake. The boys even have ready-made icing. Mike. <laughs> Michael Jackson! They can't go wrong. It's broke. The icing is normally put over the cake, Colin. No, it's not big enough. Oh, what? Fuck's sake, man. The base of Colin's cake is now stuck to his icing. Nice no, breaking, like fuck. Let's just give up. Let's give up. Yeah. It's one o'clock in the morning. We're trying to bake a cake, <laughs> but it doesn't seem to happen. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Stick that on the top, mate. Cake, anyone? Yeah! Rihanna's off to check out wedding rings. I'd like something platinum, quite luxury-ish, and just platinum. timeless, okay. yeah. The boys are shopping too, but they're not headed to Cartier. We haven't got a lot of budget left. That's why we're at Argos, That's yeah. why we're at Argos. You realise how cheap you look. That platinum band is nice. It's one of the most meaningful symbols you can have in a wedding. So I think Ian should dedicate a grand for two rings. I think that that's quite reasonable. £27.98 later. Ready for this? What is that? <laughs> Hello, Mick. It's tight. I mean, it's managing your money. If you've got something really, really cheap, you wouldn't be able to wear it. Does the job? It's fine. It doesn't say I got something anyway. Oh no, it's a nice box as well, right? <laughs> it's the day before the wedding, and the moment that the bride who hates wedding dresses has been dreading. Hi! Hi, I'm Rihanna. <laughs> nice to meet you. Coming in then. <laughs> so, you going to try a dress on today? Yeah, I'm very scared. <gasps> Come on, let's go downstairs. Okay. If there's one thing Rihanna didn't want, it was a low-cut neckline and a big skirt. So will Ian's fishtail Titanic dress float her boat or send her overboard? Are you ready? Yeah. OK, I'm just fine. Oh. I think it's gorgeous. What do you reckon? Would you like to see the back? I just want to see what the thing in the middle looks like. I don't know what these straps are going to look like. On. Sorry, I can't wait. She's going. <laughs> You look so beautiful, oh, Nick. Like, when I saw it at first, I was a bit worried because I was like, it was just something I'd never go for because mm. it's quite ruffly. But on, oh, it's just, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> it's incredible. And it's a wedding dress. I know, yeah. And it's a wedding dress. <laughs> do you know what? I couldn't do it, so Ian did it. I, I couldn't find it. I couldn't. No. He's better than me. No. He, he's the fashionista. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I look, can I take this off and see what it looks like can. somewhere else? Yeah. I can't believe you it's chose glamorous. it. It's so romantic. It's beautiful. I it's feel the like fit. I'm just relaxed now. I feel like I've just been. Oh, God. I love how I can move and I'll be able to dance in it. 
and like party the night away, but it's still so bridal. God, it's just the biggest, nicest, happiest moment ever. Against all the odds, Ian's Titanic dress is a massive hit. I love Ian so much for doing this. And Neil, both of them, bless them. Beautiful. I better take it off until tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> But there's one thing missing from the outfit. Got me under the shoes here. For the bride who sells designer shoes, let's hope Ian's final £385 is money well spent. I bet that'd be the right ones. <laughs> With four days to go, Tom isn't in the clear yet. He still has to get bridesmaids dresses for Laura, Lou and Lottie's sister Angela. Have you got a colour scheme? Colour in mind? Either peaches or pinks, not bright pink. He's budgeted 350 quid for three bridesmaids dresses. But Angela's not sure. I would be more comfortable, you know, in a, in a suit doing the Ange thing. Make that two bridesmaids dresses and a suit. I'm just gutted I can't carry it off. I put it on and I just look like I'm in drag. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. We've got a troublemaker already. We're five minutes in the loop. Tom's got his work cut out for him. Yeah. What sort of suit, uh, jacket so are we looking for, Angela? We're getting bright. Too bright? Just tune it down a little bit, yeah. Luckily, this man could shop for England. We all get you wrapped up in a suit pretty, uh, pretty... It should be quite straightforward. There's not that many styles to, to, to really diverse from. <laughs> How little she knows, eh, Tom? Look at that. Oh, no, that would be really cool to wear out somewhere funky. It's like Beetlejuice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They always sit slightly differently because obviously my little blessings are in the way, yeah. but uh, I'm lucky. Charlotte got the blessed side of that part of the family and I, oh, I, yeah. um, I, got, the, <laughs> I got the handful. That's, that's yeah. nice in the arm. It's too long in the arm. It's proving to be tougher than he thought. Let's, let's move on. Tom shelves the suits for now. Perhaps he'll find dresses easier. I don't like that one at all. No. You look like you're going to an eight-year-old disco. The way it flares out and everything. No, I don't know if I'm a fan of the, uh, the shoulder piece. I think it's a bit mental. I quite like them. How much are they? Right, yeah, 150 pounds. Crikey. Right, yeah. Right, go and, go and look, just hang them back up, <laughs> all right? And then forget all about those two. <laughs> I think I'm losing a will to live. <laughs> He's also losing track of his pink colour scheme. You wouldn't think a grey particularly as a dress, would you, really, for bridesmaids? You wouldn't think grey. Not something that you would traditionally choose, is it? Yeah, just generally get a bit despondent, just thinking we'll just put those girls in anything now and uh, <laughs> hopefully just make do. Unbelievable. The shopaholics had his fill of shopping. Suddenly, brick lane seemed so much more straightforward. I just can't seem to find the right style and colour all in one dress. I thought it was going to be much easier, but it's really hard and I'm panicking a bit now. Where else have we got to go? Nowhere else, have we? Four hours in and he still has no dresses, no suits, no nothing. It's cut for a man as well, Owen, so that's probably why obviously it might be just pushing out there a little bit, but... Hang on, let me do my best man pose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a really nice suit, actually. One day and two more to go. You feel smart, you sort of, you feel better on the day, don't you? You feel like you're not letting anybody down, especially when it's just sort of your sister's wedding. The last thing you want is to let your sister down on a big day. Tom doesn't want to let his bride down either. But an hour before the shops close, he's running out of time. We've got this kind of style here for you. It's quite Audrey Hepburn, and quite chic. Hold on a minute. Haven't we seen this dress somewhere before? And wasn't it too expensive? Just hang them back up, <laughs> all right? And then forget all about those two. Forget all about those two. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I quite like the pleats as well that you've got at the front. Generally, I think they fit quite well, so how much? Yeah. The dresses are 150 each for you. Might have gone over a little bit, but that's all right. They look great, so um, obviously we're going we're gonna to keep them. I think we're done on the dress front, thankfully. It's been a long day, but we got there in the end. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hiya. Hello. Hello. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> Open your eyes. That's exactly what I thought Tom would do. Oh my god! Okay. Oh. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you 
like the look of it? No. <laughs> no. But I'll try it on and it might look lovely on. It is one of those dresses sometimes you have to see on yeah. before you can appreciate okay, it. It's just extremely plain. Very plain. That's isn't why. it? Okay, well, I'll try it on. Okay, let me think of you when you've got yeah. your dress on. I'm sure it's going to look much nicer. Right? I think it will. I do think she'll look lovely in it. Getting choked up just thinking about it. I'm yeah. trying not to do that today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it will. I know that, like, how much her mum wanted to be here and, and see this moment, and I, I've got that privilege mm. in her place. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I know. I'm so nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just extremely plain, isn't it? Love all the shape at the front. It's no, because I'm I'm pushed in. I'm, yeah, look how you're... flattened I am, and I don't like straps because I'm too restricted, and I just feel like I just want to get them off. I know you're doing that and trying to make don't. it fall off, but you don't have to. Oh, look, just trying to get. That's how I feel <coughs> after ten minutes. I want to get it off. I'm like, ah, get it off me, because I'm like that. Ah. I know, I know, it's hard. I'm like, I feel like someone's put me in a straight jacket. I do think it looks stunning. I just think it looks lush. The dress does you justice. Well, maybe that's the problem. Maybe I am too bloody chubby. Maybe I never know when I should wear something more classy. Are they? Maybe yeah. that's the problem. Um. With her hair tied up, the girls try to see what can be done. Not tiara or anything? Is there anything else? He's not going to get me a tiara because that involves bling. He was just thinking, I don't like the fact she wears demontes. I'm not getting her demontes. That's what Tom was thinking. Okay, but would you Any money. Would you like to wear a tiara? Like. Would you like a tiara? No, I'd rather have a different dress. Auntie Lisa thinks that a sparkly necklace will turn Lottie around, but is it going to be enough? That's more like a bloody T Rex. Because <laughs> it's too tight at the moment. <laughs> It'd be too Ow. I just want to get it off in a minute. But I, I do think you look fab in it. I would ring Tom. I can just choose not to wear it. I can just choose not to wear it at all if I want. Is it uncomfortable? It's uncomfortable, it's restrictive. I don't like it. It's plain. It's boring. I'm going to walk down the aisle and people are going to go, oh, she's in a white dress. This is all no, the things won't. you said you weren't going to do if you didn't like the dress. I'm just thinking I walk down the aisle in jeans and bloody t-shirt and I'll just go, well, I'm sorry, mate, but... Is there any way anything can be put on it? If we could we speak to the seamstress and see... Yeah? Yeah. Would that make you happy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but nothing can be altered without Tom's approval. Could you say to him, it's way too plain, sunshine? Okay. Way too plain. Those are that words. It's way too plain, sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> Laura has to break the news to Tom. Hello, Tom. What will he make of her proposal? Basically, um, she's tried the dress on um, yeah. and just not very happy that it's really plain. Because initially she was like, no, I want to change it to something that's got diamantes and bling and stuff all over it. So oh, yeah, that sounds really classy. <laughs> She is going to be adding um, some sort of motifs and bling and stuff on it. it, it I didn't know if that Motif. was okay. Can, can we do that or are you, you not? Know, I thought it would have been nice to move away from like, you know, the, the less classy sort of side of things with like diamantes and everything else going all over it. But if she wants to put her chav like bling on her it, chav then, title then on it. <laughs> fine, fine, that's fine. I'm going to walk down the aisle like that, like a chav. Yeah, man. She's obviously liking the, the, the diamantes or whatever they are, probably uh, little bits of plastic glass. If it's something that you know she wants to put on the dress, that's fine. I just do hope they had done, you know, cheapen the dress or, or make it look a little bit rubbish. You've got a bit of a diamante tummy. <laughs> well, you've got your putting necklace and that on with it. I do you think it'd be fine. I think there's a fine line between glamorous and just garish. The man who prides himself on his taste has failed his bride. Evans <laughs> now organised his home birth, the biggest, boldest Vegas wedding he can think of. Time for the icing on the cake. Anything I can help you with or show you something today? A lot, actually. Yes. Yeah. Any idea what colours or styles you might be interested in at this point? No. There's some things that we can put you in that, okay. that would be appropriate. Uh, of course, this is Vegas, so anything yeah. goes. And I don't know if you, you know, want to get wild and yeah. crazy or not. No, I'm sure they're after something understated. And where's the ceremony going to be? Um, at the Venetian. At the Venetian, okay. 
Would you like to come? We've only got eight people. We need to. We well, need at that people. time during the day, I'll be working, but otherwise, I'd love to come. <laughs> <laughs> we need bodies. If you know anyone, tell them to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you might end up with a whole We're crew there. We're charging to <laughs> So Simon does know Kaylee wants a big wedding. That must be why he's inviting total strangers then. Ladies and gentlemen, Las Vegas proudly welcomes the comedy wedding duo. <laughs> Let's see how this all <laughs> I feel like a clown. <laughs> you look like a clown. I wish I could do tricks. <laughs> I could do a trick. You look great, actually. <laughs> I do like it, actually. <laughs> what do you think to me? <laughs> I think you should wear that. Yeah. I think Kaylee would be really pleased. You'd love that, wouldn't you? You'd love that. I love it. We could put you in a white also and do something just to make it I prefer him in the blue. With the blue. In the blue, we could do a blue bow tie, both in white. <laughs> the heat's clearly getting the best of Simon. The heat's clearly got to Simon. He now thinks his suit should match his best man's. A pair of white tuxedos would be the perfect side dish to Kaylee's ivory dress with Ruffles look. Hello. Actually, that's not too bad. What do you think? Do you like this? I like the blue. Do you? I like that. I don't think I would have ever decided to wear white in an English wedding. And I think, for a caution to the wind, I think we look great. It's the day before the big surprise, and Kaylee is about to see her wedding dress for the very first time. Simon has shipped the frock, roses and all, to a wedding dress shop in Leicester. Kaylee wanted a white princess dress with lots of sparkle. That's not what Simon's bought her. It's a really bad choice. It's not even a safe choice. It's, it's purely bad. It's just a joke. I just don't like it. It's ruffles, it's roses, it makes me feel frumpy, old. If I was in your position, I wouldn't wear it. I'm not wearing it. I'm not wearing it on my wedding day, no. Is it possible for us to exchange it for another one, or...? We can't exchange it for another one, unfortunately, because it's paid for. The girls try a different strategy. Kaylee's sister Sam puts in an emergency call to the groom. <laughs> 5,000 miles away, it's early morning, and Simon's sleeping like a baby. Not for long. We're just at the dress shop. Uh, Kaylee's tried on her dress. She doesn't like it. Oh. She doesn't like. The ruffles, it doesn't fit her, she doesn't like the roses. The only other option is Simon to buy another one. I don't know if there's any money left in the budget to buy another dress. If there's no money in the budget, he's going to have to find it from somewhere, cut back on something. We'll give you a call back. Oh, I don't believe it. He's not sure whether there's any money left in the budget. Well, they need to make some money. That's what I said, and he said he's going to ring us back. We've got $1,811.65 left. And we've still got to get a cake, bridesmaid's dress, licence, makeup, cars, champagne. If you just say, look, we can afford to give you sort of six, seven hundred pounds. <laughs> Simon, what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> The bride has finally found a frock she fancies. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, how much better? How much better? Oh, that's beautiful. So you better ring him and ask him to bring his chapbook. <laughs> We're looking at a grand total is 1564. Mm, thank you. Yeah. 1,564, it's a small price to play for how you feel. If he wants to live with me after this wedding, how are you? Kaylee's found um, the dress that she wants. The price of it all together is 1,564. There's only 600 quid, Deb. 
What? They said he got six hundred pounds. No, that's not. But that's not enough. even going to get us a wedding good dress, enough. Anthony. Yeah. They need to get the money. God, I feel such a bitch. You get me on the phone. I'll tell him what a bitch is. <sighs> what is his problem now? They haven't physically he got any got money, money left. He's, He's got, got a car. He said they're cutting back to get the six hundred pound. Well, they'll have to cut back more or get the card. Or take their suits I'm not, back. Yeah, I'm not wearing that. End of. Kaylee has put her foot down. Simon's going to have to dig deep to find the cash. Just simply haven't got it. No, you haven't. If I emptied out the bank account, the rent wouldn't be paid. I can't just magic money out of nowhere. No, you can't. Tell her I can give her £800. I put four hundred pound out of my own money. Right. Simon said he could get eight hundred Still not enough though. We can only go up to eight hundred pounds. It's not good enough. If they can get the money, I will give it back to them. If anybody can get the money and pay for it, Simon. Okay then, well we'll see if we can do that. Even with four hundred quid out of his pocket. And the same again from the budget. The girls still have to fork out the remaining £764 themselves. Bye. The budget has just been absolutely decimated. I just hope the next time I see her, she looks at me and smiles. It's the day before the wedding, and Laura's about to see the two and a half grand designer gown that Mitch spent just 90 minutes choosing. Let's hope she gets her hands on it before Mum and Amy do. Really, really nervous. <sighs> Can't wait to see it. There was no booth when the dress went no, past. No, it wasn't. It didn't fill the bag out. It wasn't a lot, booth did it? No. no. It's nothing like the big dress Laura fell in love with. You ready to see it? Yes. Yeah. <sighs> oh my God. Uh. <laughs> I oh, just love yeah. it. <sighs> it's beautiful. I hope you do like it because it's the most expensive dress in the shop. But it's the most expensive, the most expensive dress. one we've got. Oh yeah. my god. Did... Two and a half thousand. Yeah. <gasps> Are you right? <laughs> Has he done good? He's done really good. This is really different to the one I've been looking at, actually. Really? Yeah. I, I thought I'd go for something more full. Right. But having but sit, got here happy? and seen it, I yeah, it's me. It is more me. Definitely, I love it. I'm not sure my mum will like it, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't care what she thinks. <laughs> <sighs> Beautiful. <laughs> I'm speechless because, well, it's certainly nothing like what you were trying. I know. Feels really luxurious. I, th I think personally, now the shock of it's worn off because it's so different. I, I do think it's lovely. Oh, it's mm. beautiful. Mm. It's. Love it. <laughs> Mitch has absolutely nailed the dress. But the devil is in the detail. Shoes. Well, these are lovely. How much are these? No idea. A lot, I would imagine. Laura's dreaming of designer heels. Uh, I've just realised that I've not got Laura any shoes to wear with her wedding dress, so I'm going to have to borrow some money and go and get some shoes for her. I need to make a phone call. I just don't know quite who to ring. I've not got a number. Surely there's someone who can help a desperate groom? A friendly face in his hour of need? Hello? Hello, Jan. How's it going? Hello? Or not? I've spent every single penny I've to spend, and I haven't got Laura any shoes. Oh, right. It's pretty much wear her own, or um, her rather lovely mother is going to owe her one for lending. Yes, I, I thought that was coming, yes. <laughs> OK. Brilliant. Thanks, Jan. Speak to you in a bit. Cheers. Bye. 
Well, that sounded all right. She's perfectly upbeat. I need to borrow some money off of my future mother-in-law. Bank of mother-in-law. Before she is even my mother-in-law. <laughs> I'm not particularly impressed, put it that way. But it's my daughter, so obviously I'll do it for her. Let's just get there and sort it out. We're not going to get there behind these old fogies, though. Come on, James, come on. For the third time in three weeks, the surfer is bumming cash to keep his beach wedding afloat. Look, if you're really stuck, give me a ring. No, it's fine. I'll sort it. Don't if worry you about can't it. Sort no, it. You've been a legend. Thank you very much. But if you can't, give me a ring. Yeah. Have faith, Jan. No one can rush a job like Mitch. I've seen worse. 23 quid. Job done. Hardly. There's still a ton of people. I'm nervous about the fact that it's not just about the wedding, it's going to be the after effect as well. Does he, is he going to produce something based on what I would like or is it going to be what he would like, kind of forgetting what, a, a little bit about me, therefore not really knowing me as a person? just don't know if I trust him to be able to deliver the day that I expect. And I think maybe my expectations are too high. I just, I just don't know if he's going to be able to pull it off. I'm absolutely petrified that I'm just going to get there and just be bitterly disappointed. The wedding is tomorrow and Jane still needs to book transport and buy booze, Mercy's wedding shoes and the all-important rings. Without any one of these things, the wedding will be a disaster. Gosh, there's so much to do. For Mercy, it's the moment of truth. She's about to see her wedding dress. Oh, I don't know, I feel sick. What if it's like bright red or something? Or like, <laughs> like, 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 oh, I look like a toilet roll holder or something. Barbie pink? Barbie pink? Oh, my God. Mercy can only hope her man knows her better than that. I'm nervous, I feel sick. Oh my god. Want to pull back the curtain? Okay! I don't know. Um Wow. Um Oh my god, he's got a long train! Oh my god! Oh my god, I wanna put it on, I wanna put it on, I can put it on now. What has been that side of mind for such a long time? It. I just had this image in my head of this dress that he was going to get me and I was like, oh my gosh. And it fits as well. It actually fits. He's kind of exceeded, completely exceeded expectations. Completely and utterly exceeded expectations. Absolutely. My dress is amazing. Just one problem. James has completely forgotten that his bride needs shoes for the fitting. There we go, my little shoes. Hello. Hi, James, Natalie. I'm just at Woodmercy at the moment, and we're just wondering, have you got your shoes sorted out? Um. You know what? That's, that, that woke me up this morning. I woke up this morning thinking, oh my gosh, I have a little of shoes. Um, I'll have it great by the end of the day. We, we need it now, really, because she's she. it's the fitting. Is there anything that, that you guys can go to to get pick up? Because I'm going to have to run around and then get down to you guys, and obviously I haven't got them now, so... It is your choice, so you need to you need to actually pick the shoes yourself. Come on, James. What programme do you think you're on? Shocked into action, the lads finally pull their collective finger out. They've got just an hour before closing time to find the most important shoes of Mercy's life. You know one of them ones, yeah? yeah She's sparkling right. for the night, man. Yeah, I like that. Yeah? What these? Quite short. Oh. You can't <laughs> buy them, no, man. Put What's them back. Them? That's some of your nan well, wear. 16 pounds! But if they're good enough for Nan, they're good enough for Princess Mercy. 
Just time for a dash to the jewelers. Have you got the rings? Yeah. Love the stuff. That's great. Brilliant stuff. That's perfect. Exactly what I needed. It's Love it. After three weeks of cluelessness and chaos, has James done enough to make his bride happy? It's the day before the wedding. And Nikki's about to come face to face with the dress that Nathan's chosen for her. When you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Unfortunately, so is her mother. If I go to the butchers, you know I'm upset. <laughs> I'll try this. I do really. It's going to be off, off to Paris. I mean it. I mean it. What, today? Yeah. Her mind is already made up. I'm not going to like him. She's going to look like a loo roll holder. He's thinking of me, really. He's not just thinking, oh, that's what I would like for her. He's actually thinking, what would Nikki like? What would Nikki want? I, I couldn't have chose better myself. I'm absolutely stunned by his decision. I really am. When I saw the dress, it was perfect. He just knows her through and through. And he knows, he also knows me. He must do, because that was my dream dress. The groom's got one more romantic gesture for his bride. Nathan's dropped this in for you. <gasps> Did you know about this? <gasps> something yeah, old, something new. Woohoo! Mm. Oh, I can't believe that he's done this. Bless him. Look at that. Don't you I ever say he's not romantic again. <laughs> Don't you ever. That's lovely, isn't it? It's the end of the second week and Howell's put aside £300 for bridesmaids' dresses. But he hopes he doesn't have to spend it all. To be honest, I'm not the biggest of fans of shopping in general, so I'm not looking forward to getting dresses today for the girls. It's tough luck on his bridesmaids, Raina and Becca's little sister, Nicole. I'm a little bit scared because I really don't know what he's going to choose for us. Same. It is. I've got my colour scheme sorted. It's going to be brown or gold, right? Right. <laughs> and I'm thinking as cheap and cheerful as possible. Right. <laughs> 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 Just get on with it. Just get a similar colour or even if you're in different colours, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Two different or, style dresses. Yeah, someone's the same colour, isn't it? Are you sure? Yeah, whatever, it'll be fine. Do you think it's nicer to have them in the same material? Be purely because if you go for satin and taffeta, you've got two completely different contrasts. Irina, you're talking absolute gibberish to me, to be honest. I don't know what different materials go like with satin. That's, that's like a taffety type, so, or like, whatever, yeah, it is. Well, listen, yeah, just do it like, do you mean? It's massive on your Yeah, that can be taken in and that, can it? Well, at least brown dresses won't show the mud. I think that dress has looked really good on both of you. So if we can get a gold dress now that looks good on either of you. She hasn't, um, she hasn't got any. She got one like that in gold. Yeah. But it's a size 18, so it can't be altered to my size. So there's no other gold dress I would go with that for the two of you there. Not really. It's not really happening, is it? All Hal can do is ask the shop owner to try and get him another matching dress. OK, thank you. Will she be able to find him one in time? In Swansea, it's the moment Becca's been dreading. The bride who wanted to look like Holly Golightly is about to see her rock and roll frock. Hiya. How are you feeling? Really nervous. I just want to see my dress. Yeah, so do we. <laughs> <laughs> 
Raina and Becca's aunties, Pauline and Linda, have come to hold her hand. How will the short dress go down with the five foot nothing bride? Oh, it's in there. Are you okay? Oh, my. oh God, what if she's horrible? It's not. It won't. Be. Be right. This is how well mind we're talking about. <laughs> It's beautiful. Oh, that's, oh, that's you. Oh. And it looks like it's going to fit you. It will fit. Oh, that's you. Oh. Are you ready to try it on? Yeah, yeah, let's get it on. Okay. Mm -hmm. You look amazing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Don't you look lovely? Oh. Does it look nice? Beautiful. Gorgeous. Just How do you bit. feel? Yeah, it needs to be taken in, but I don't know, I haven't seen myself. I'm worried that it's the, the length That's is lovely. too long. No, it's not. Do you think it's too long? No. no. Do you like it? Do you it's think are you thinking it's too long for you? Maybe. No, I need a not. tan as well, don't I? And it doesn't make my legs look stumpy or anything, no. does it? The longer she has it on, the more the doubts creep in. I sure the length is okay. I'm just still a little bit worried that it's too long for me because I'm so short. And this bow yeah. shouldn't be higher up no, on my hip, should no, it? No, that's perfect. What about my hair? Does it yeah. not clash with no, my hair? Hacked off! Oh my god, that's beautiful! Oh, just... Did he choose this? Yes. <laughs> In it came. Quick, get it off before she changes her mind. Take it off. Oh, yeah. 